What's up everybody, I'm Drake here from Drake's Rod Shop and behind me under this tarp is my 1962 Chevy truck. Now I got a commenter saying that the tarp being on it is going to do more damage and hurt it more than if I just took the tarp off of it. I don't have a shop or anywhere to put this unfortunately. One day I will have a shop to put my trucks in, but at the moment I don't. So the next best thing I think is a tarp. He's saying it holds moisture underneath which I've heard that before, that the tarps do hold moisture underneath, right? But at the same time, this truck doesn't have a windshield in it. And every time it rains, the whole cab's going to get soaking wet on the inside and water's going to get all in it. And it, it was, didn't have a tarp over it or a windshield in it before I got it for a few years, you know, before that. So I thought that putting the tarp over it would help it. And another thing is people have brand new Corvettes and Hellcat Challengers and stuff, and they put car covers on their cars. I'm thinking the car cover and the tarp is pretty much like the same thing. Now I do have to say something about the tarp. Uh, the tarp would probably scratch your car if you have like a nice brand new paint job on like a Corvette or something or a Dodge Charger. Uh, and I have my truck bungee corded down and bungee strapped and it will mess up your paint. Okay? But my trucks are patina, half patina, half original paint, half primer. If you care about your patina, don't do that. But my patina is so all over the place, I just gotta, I'm just gonna prime my trucks eventually and paint them all one color. So, let's get into the video. I'm gonna take this tarp off. It was raining last night, so it's already like 12 o'clock in the day. So if there's any moisture under this truck, or if there was, it should be here still. If there's any moisture and it already dried from last night, then I don't think it's gonna hurt. It would be the same if it was raining, except I'm keeping water out of my truck. So if I take this tarp off and there's moisture under it right now and it's wet, then this tarp under here is a bad idea. But if I take this tarp off and it's completely dry, then the tarp is a good idea. Hopefully I said that correctly. Okay, so I'm going to take this tarp off right now and we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so I'm going to take this tarp off live with you guys for the first time. I have not took this off for the day and it was raining a little bit last night. As you can see, coming close right here, there is water on this tarp. This water would have got in my cab of my truck. Can you see the water? All right, so I'm gonna take this tarp off. I'm Taking the tarp off, there's water on it. Come see the side real quick. Not on the truck, there's no water on the truck. But look, right here, the ground's wet, water on the tarp. I just shook it off as you can see. The hood is completely dry, no moisture, it is not wet. Okay, so I'm pulling this tarp off right now. Look as you can see this tarp, come, come in close. Right here, you see the tarp? This is dirt and dryness. This tarp is completely dry right here. This is just dirt from how dry uh, it, it is. See, sand and stuff from how dry the tarp is underneath. Right, so let's pull this back. Maybe there's water and moisture on the top of the roof of the cap. We'll find out. But so far, what I'm seeing is whoever left that comment was more in the wrong than in the right one. Okay, the tarp is coming off the truck and it doesn't look wet. It seems dry, there's no moisture. I don't think I have to pull it back any farther than this to know but I am going to pull it back a little, a little bit farther. Let me grab the camera here. I haven't stopped this recording yet. No moisture. It's dry. It's dry. The roof is dry. The tarp is completely dry. No moisture. I don't feel any moisture on it. Tarp is dry and the roof is dry. All right, so as you can see, it, I had water on the outside of my tarp because it was raining last night, and I took the tarp off right and maybe it had moisture when it was raining i don't know i don't think so because when i pulled the tarp off i was showing you guys the dirt that was still on it that was just dry it's already 12 o'clock in the day if there was moisture on it last night and it already dried by you know before the even middle of the day and it was probably already dry before 12 right so if there is no moisture by 12 o'clock in the day before it rains, if it's not even raining, if it's not raining, it's going to be completely dry. If it does rain, most likely there's probably no moisture. If this truck didn't have a tarp on it, my cab would be wet, my hood would be wet, my whole inside of my truck would be soaked with water. My rockers would be rotten out, but this tarp on it kept the water out of my cab. 
kept it out of my dashboard. Water would be sitting in my lip of my dashboard. Come see. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Right here. If the tarp wouldn't have been on it, water would be sitting in here right now, rotting that out. As you can see, that's what happened. There's no paint right here. This is solid still. There's no holes. But as you can see, it's just surface rust. But from the years that the person that I got it from didn't have a tarp on it, it did rust and it made it surface rust and if it would have set longer it would have rusted this out eventually uh not having a tarp on it so in my opinion i think having a tarp on this truck having a tarp on the truck is going to help it better than not having one well, honestly i think the tarp being on this truck is helping it more than it's hurting it so let me know your opinions in the comments um if you're the person that commented about the tarp no beef here we're cool. We're, I was just doing an experiment and testing out a theory that we had. Uh, let me know your opinions in the comments. Do you think a tarp is a good idea to have on a truck? Or would you rather the truck just not have a tarp on it? Uh, heck, my one truck didn't have a tarp for 10 years in the yard. And then uh, in the last, since October, I had a tarp on it. It hasn't hurt it anymore since I put the tarp on it. And it kept water out of my engine and out of, off of my truck. So having it on for that long, that little bit of time helped it. I'm gonna get a shot one day, just not right now. I got other things I gotta take care of first. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, let me know in the comments how you feel. Tarp or no tarp? You think it hurts it or doesn't hurt it? I think it helps better having the tarp than not having it. Honestly, I'm keeping the tarp on my truck. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop the video a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, if you like classic truck stuff, because I make videos on classic trucks. Thank you for watching, peace out.